if I'm going to paint, the first thing I got to do is put something up on an easel. The easel right now is a is a small wall. My studio at 979 Queen. I've had gigantic studios. I've had teeny ones. I've had messy ones. I never had a clean one. All right, more or less. There's snow outside, so I'm not painting on the deck. Uh, all right. What am I going to paint? I have no idea. Not the slightest. But that's normal. Burnt sienna. It's not that it's a burnt sienna day or anything. It's just that it's the color I reach for. I'm using some squeeze bottles of, of liquid acrylic paint. But unfortunately, I and my brethren, my fellow painters, seem to be pretty sloppy people, and everything gets dirty and stuck in the wrong size. But that's part of it, I guess. I once knew a very neat painter, Norman Rockwell. Familiar name to most people. Illustrator and painter. Back in the 30s and the 40s, I knew him in the 60s when I had a gallery on Madison Avenue. And I was in from Spain on one of our yearly trips in, sort of. And uh, I was in the gallery at Madison, which was across from the Whitney. And in walks this guy, and he's looking around and looking around, and he turns to me. And he's obviously likes what he's looking at or interested. He says, well, you don't know who I am. I said, of course I know who you are. You know, he's got one of those faces. I got to get some water. Without water, this doesn't fly. Oh, my God. It's nice if you have the materials that you just think you might want to use because there's nothing quite as miserable when your painting is feeling you ain't got something that you wanted. It just gives you an excuse. And it doesn't take very many excuses to, to take away all the energy. But on the other hand, if you don't know what you're going to paint, sometimes it's a little difficult to put them together. That's the kind of favorite kind of a brush. This is one of these cheap Chinese brushes. Pure, no. Pure bristle made in Indonesia. And when they get messy enough or they get stuck, I've been working with acrylic and oil a lot. And if they get stuck together, oil and acrylic, that's the end of it. Nobody's going to clean it. Nobody's going to anything. So you take a scissor and you cut it short, and it's a short, stiff bristle. And the advantage of this stuff, you stick it in some paint, and you don't know what's going to happen. Because one of the big problems in painting is knowing how to paint, for me. Uh, when you don't know how to paint and you don't know anything at all, you don't know how to do anything, whatever you do is exciting, it's new, it's all yours. When you learn tricks and you learn how to do something, then you tend to do it. You fill in. When nothing's happening, you put in something that you know is going to be effective, 
and there it is. But that doesn't necessarily make for for enjoyment or a good painting, better canvas or anything. That just means that you're doing what you know how to do. And I guess we all do, but there. But with this, I don't know what's going to happen in the beginning. It only takes five minutes, and I know where this brush is. If I'm going to turn it and twist it, what it's going to do. Not exactly, because exactly would be the worst thing in the world I would want. When I stand this close to a canvas, I just, there's no way you can look at the canvas. If you can come in, take a look at this, where I am, you'll see, there's no view. It's just like this. And there's no perspective, and you can't measure one thing against the other. I love that. It's a nakedness. And that means I can just paint and be, and I haven't got my mind working all the time as to how I want to correct it, or what I want to do, or all that kind of shit. It's just is. Now, I'm going to step back, so watch the, the camera. I'm coming back for a second. Why? Because I'm becoming a little aware of it right now. And the moment I'm aware, then I'm going to be changing something. And up till now, I haven't been aware of anything. I've just been moving. So here I go back and take a look at this thing. I come on back. Ooh! <laughs> and then I look and I say, did I do that? And whatnot. Yeah, it's got a lot of things going for it. It's very loose and it's things. And what do I do now? Well, it's not a painting lesson, but uh, since I don't really talk about canvases very much, it may be a good time now. It's not a painting lesson, but all I'm looking for is what I'm aware of. If I'm aware of something, I'm going to change it. I don't want to be aware of anything. I want to look and just be captured by what I'm looking at. And for whatever it is, good, bad, or indifferent, that's what it is. I see this, so I'm filling something in. But it isn't necessarily neck or anything. It's just that it needs something. I come back again, and one now this is going to need very little. I'll tell you right now. I just know it. It got close. When something is, it is. And all the futzing in the world ain't going to make it any better. It'll make it different. Why this? I don't know why that. I reach for it, and that leads me to something else. Maybe this is where I wanted to do in the first place. That's a little obvious, so you whack it out and going. Yeah, but I don't want to do it there. The two would just go wick. What a little something here. Won't do any. It's all light and darkness, it's contrast. 